Hi, I'm Morris Panitz. I'm the director of Arms and the Man. It's a, it's a romantic comedy. It takes place in a mythical, made-up place, but somewhere in Bulgaria. The subject is kind of romanticism and the romanticization of war and uh, how love works. And there's a lot of things going on in the play. Uh, the main characters are Blunchley, who's a Swiss mercenary soldier who's managed to sneak into, because he's on the run, into the bedroom of Raina, whose father is a major for the other side, and um, much hilarity ensues. Um, it's one of Shaw's least rhetorical plays, but in some ways his most political. I mean, at the time it, at the time it was written, there was a lot of jingoism, a lot of nationalism, and Shaw sort of flails against that in a very, very light and comedic way. It's a nice touch with the play. Um, the other characters, of course, are the mother and the father, and uh, the intended uh, betrothed, the macho s b Bulgarian hero, Sergius, played by Martin Happer. Um, Blunchley is played by Shaw regular Graham Somerville, who's awesome. Everybody in the cast is great. Laurie um, Payton, Norm Browning, uh, Kate Bessworth, it's a great company. And uh, Martin Happer, I say, as uh, Sergius, of course. Uh, Claire Julian and Peter Krantz round out the team. Claire and uh, Peter play servants in the house, who have a whole other story going on. Um, and uh, the play is set in about, I don't know, some mythical time, but more or less in the late 1800s. Um, there's a lot of talk about war, and there were a lot of wars at that time, like just different regions and as Europe was being formed and um, but it goes on today I think as I say in my notes in the program there have been exactly 26 days of peace since the Second World War which says a lot about humanity and about <laughs> the state we're in and the absurdity of it